Hey everyone, I am Ishan Sharma. Reading is considered to be the most high leverage activity on earth. You can get the most return in the least amount of time and capital that you invest into it. It is the best thing that you can do. And in 2022, you need to read more books. And in this video, I want to talk about exactly how you can do that. How can you read 10x more books in 2022? Five ways to do exactly that. Make sure that you watch till the end where I'll be talking about one bonus tip for you. Make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe. To develop a habit of reading, it's much better if you start with small steps. So reading 15 minutes every single day for the rest of the year is much, much better than reading for two to three hours at stretch on a single day and then just forgetting about about the book for the rest of the time. There's also a book called as The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy in which he talks about how taking these small steps, insignificant steps every single day can create massive impact in your life, both in terms of creating a habit like reading or financially through investing. So make sure that you understand this one very important phenomena to start with reading one page every single day and then move on start to read maybe two pages, then three pages, and then maybe you can decide that you want to read for 30 minutes every single day. And soon you will realize that at the end of the year, you're able to read a lot more and you have proper focus. In this day and age of reels and short form content, creating a habit of reading a book can be really hard right now, but if you start small, it can work out for you really well in the long term. The next one is going to be to do it early. It's really important to get into the habit of reading early on in your day, because that is the time at which your mind is decluttered you have a refreshed mind and you can properly focus on a particular task. That's what I do. Whenever I get up in the morning at about seven o'clock in the morning, I go out and I listen to an audiobook and I do that for the next one to two hours. The reason is simple, right? Reading a book takes a lot more focus and willpower and you can do that very well when you just got up in the morning. Robin Sharma talks about how reading 20 minutes every single day in the first hour of him waking up has been a game changer for his own life and he talks about that in his books as well. Talking about the science behind reading early in the morning, your prefrontal cortex is the most active as soon as you get up, right? And that is the part of your brain that indulges into creativity. That is where you get your creative processes done from. So that's why it's much better to read when you are getting up in the morning. The next one is very interesting. It's called as to stop even before you're finished. The basic idea is when you're reading a book, and you come across a very interesting part of the book in which there's something interesting happening, maybe a fight, maybe there's some deep talk happening. Stop right there and do not read any further. Yes, it will be tempting, but just stop it and go on with the rest of your day. Now creating this cliffhanger for yourself will make sure that you come back at the book tomorrow to read it completely and see what actually happened in that particular event in that book. So make sure that you understand this idea. Rick Riordan books are a perfect example of creating cliffhangers. I remember reading all of them and at the end of that page, I had so much curiosity to see what will happen next, what will Percy do, what will Annabeth, what will Grover do. So I had to get the next book as soon as possible and read it completely to understand the whole story. You can do the same thing with any book out there. The reasoning behind this is very simple. You are much more likely to remember something that you have left incomplete, an activity that you've not completed and that is why it's best for you to leave something at a cliffhanger so that you can come back at it with much more curiosity. And that is another great way to develop this habit of reading. The fourth one is going to be to hit that like button and also subscribe. If you are liking this video, if you're learning something from it, it would mean a lot to me if you can subscribe. But the fourth tip is going to be to find a trigger and a routine. So find yourself a place and find yourself a time where you can actually go and you can read the book, right? Maybe it could be a place in your house, maybe a park or a garden, a bench on that garden. And then you can just sit there and you can properly focus on reading your book. Now this will create a cue for you, a reminder in general, so that you know that at seven o'clock in the evening, you love to read a book, for example, and you love to read it right on your desk. So if you create that cue for yourself, you will automatically remind yourself of this one activity that you have to complete. And that's a great way for you to develop a habit. I have a very interesting example of this exact same thing. So I have been recording videos on this setup that I have right now, and everything over here is ready for me to start recording videos. And that is the whole reason for my productivity. That is the reason of my consistency on YouTube. I have everything ready over here. I have these softbox lightings. I have this camera right here. I have my mic right here. I have my laptop to look at the script right there. 
and I have everything ready for me so that I can record videos seamlessly without any problems. And that is what you can do with your books as well. Just keep it at your desk so that it will remind you to read the book every single day. This is the fourth one. The fifth one is going to be to create a reward for yourself as well. Read books that are more for your current situation in life. For example, Maybe you want to become financially independent or maybe you want to find a life partner. So it's much better for you to read this book called as The Fast Lane Millionaire by MJ DeMarco or you can read this book called as How to Die Alone to understand about both of these problems and how can you solve them. So try to read books that have an immediate application in your own life. People have conducted multiple studies like this one study done by Harvard University in which people were offered $10 today or $11 tomorrow and people were much more willing to take $10 today itself. They did that because they wanted immediate gratification. They wanted immediate satisfaction in general, right? So you have to make sure that you read something that is right now applicable to you. Maybe you are starting a business. Then you can read this book called Zero to One by Peter Thiel. I hope you got the point. Now let's talk about the bonus tip that will help you to read more books in 2022. And this is going to be to read what you love until you love to read, right? This is an amazing thought. I learned it for the first time from Anubhav from this podcast we did together a long time ago. But the basic idea is you need to focus on things that are much more interesting to you. Maybe you are a cricket junkie. In that case, it's much better for you to read books about cricket, maybe the life of Tony, Sachin Tendulkar, all of these books you can read. And then once you've completed these books, you would sort of get into the habit of reading books in general, right? And then you can expand to other genres of books. This will make sure that you first start with things that you are actually enjoying in your normal life and then you can expand it to read whatever book you want. Right? So that's basically the whole idea behind this. I hope this video was insightful. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about it? What do you think about this whole setup that I have right here? Um, and this is the first video I'm recording on this setup. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section as well. Now, I want you to go into the comment section and tell me what is the one book that you are reading right now. I am reading this book called as Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins, which is about the struggles he has went through. It's about mental toughness and it's an amazing book so far. I've also recently read this book called as Will by Will Smith, which was another amazing book. So that's what I have for you today. I hope that you will subscribe to this channel and hit the like button, share this video with your friends, tell more and more people about it. I'll catch you all in the next video. You can share this video with your friends. You can tag me on social. You can also follow me on social media if you want to. That's it, I'll see you in the next video.